Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm in my second year of dentistry at Newcastle Uni. So whenever you're faced with an ethical scenario, it is important to think about the four medical ethics. You don't need to know all the rules and regulations within medicine. However, these four medical ethics can be applied to the majority of situations. So this is autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence and justice. So when you think about autonomy, this is the right to make an informed decision about your own treatment if you have the mental capacity to do so. So the surgeon needs to assess whether Charles understands understands the risks of this treatment and what is about to happen. Age-wise, as he's 16 years old, he is allowed to make an informed decision about his own treatment if the surgeon believes that mentally he is capable of doing so. Also, we need to think about beneficence, non-maleficence, which go hand in hand. So beneficence is the moral obligation to act in the best interest of the patient. And non-maleficence is to ensure that you cause no harm. So whether he goes through with the blood transfusion or not, you need to think about the risks that might come with it as a surgeon and to make sure whichever you pick, it's the one that's going to cause least harm to Charles. Also, you need to think about justice. So this is an element of fairness in all medical conditions conditions so when you think about this situation you need to think about whether the blood transfusion if he goes through it or not which one is more fair and you need to think about the religion aspect of it that comes into this situation with these four medical ethics these tend to be applied to the majority of situations you just need to adjust it so look out for things like the age of the patient what the situation is whether religion is involved or not these tend to help you when forming an answer